I got into the paradox of inertia with the last message, which as a synonym is lifelessness. It's a form of death, another synonym for death. That's because death keeps moving forward indefinitely. It's the unstoppable force that keeps going forward unless there's some other force, some other factor that gets in the way that causes a disruption, a disturbance. Some other factor. Obviously that factor in this case as I got into, is the heart, the immovable object of truth. Of course it's the immovable object because truth is timeless. So the unstoppable force that keeps moving, keeps shifting its foundation because it's based on a system of lies, it always has to keep changing its story. Its foundation isn't permanent whatsoever. It's very shakable. It's a house of cards. It's the exact opposite of the truth. So the truth has an unshakable, immovable foundation. This is why the infinite, the eternal heart, cannot be shaken. It cannot be moved. It cannot be deterred. It cannot be defeated. But time, which is death, absolutely, it's constantly defeated because it's constantly defeating. So the circle comes full circle back onto it. That's what death is. It's all about endings, including itself. But it's so blind that it can't even see its own end. That's why you'll never hear in stats the number one leading cause of death is death. It always tries to defer and say that it's this, that, or the other thing. Well, no, the number one cause of death is death itself, obviously. But it's, it's not so obvious, is it? These things have to be pointed out. The things that just seem so damn obvious that it makes a person go, huh? Why did you even have to say that? No kidding, it's death. Well, is it no kidding? Why isn't that the stat? Why is it always something else, some other disease? This is the number one leading cause of death. No, death is the leading cause. Absolutely. It's the unstoppable force, the lifeless inertia. Of course it is. And that's why it wants to keep everyone asleep. Absolutely, because it's a type of death. Sleep is a type of death. That's why when you wake up, it, it's said that you're awake. Well, what's awake? It's a funeral. You're waking up in the land of the dead. Definitively, this is the land of the dead. That's why everyone lives in a mortgage, as was stated. You're living in a graveyard. All these communities that keep popping up endlessly. Yeah, it's a graveyard. And this whole place is just a cancer system. And what does cancer do? Well, it keeps dividing the cells keeps creating more new cells more and more and more and it just keeps taking and taking and taking until there's nothing left hmm that looks exactly like this system this land of the blind the land of the dead that everyone finds themselves in that no one can still see because everyone's still asleep enjoying their long nap time not wanting to truly, truly wake up. Open your real eyes. Yeah, a lot of people have went into that phonetic. Use your real eyes to realize the real lies. 
it's a nice little phonetic poem, but how many have actually done it? How many? Or is one still just caught in the lifeless inertia, just moving forward, just like cancer? It's a perfect reflection. Cancer in the body just keeps multiplying and multiplying and taking more of the bodily resources until there's none left. Exactly as is happening on the earth, to the earth. The resources are dwindling fast and there are more and more individuals taking them. That's just a fact. Anyone who says that there's just infinite amounts is not paying attention. It's a sinking ship. There's more water coming into the ship than can be bailed out. There's more taking than there is replenishing. Anyone who says otherwise, well, you're just talking like a cancer cell. You believe in cancer. You believe in the system of death. That's just all there is to it. And you believe in all the horrors of it. And there are far too many to list. I'm not even going to go into listing them right now. It's just horrendous. It's a shit show. The end. If you believe in it, well, guess what? You're going to stay in it. That's just all there is to it. So congrats. Keep making that statement to eternity. You're going to get exactly what you desire, exactly what you're wishing for. So don't worry, in the time to come, you'll have only cancer to rely on. Only death. You're going to believe in that crown, and you're going to find out that it has absolutely nothing to offer. Because death has nothing. Quite actually. It's a thief. It steals everything. Just as the reflection in the body shows when someone has cancer in this shit suit. Does one see it? What does cancer have to offer? Nothing. It just takes until even this zombie body dies. Even this death suit diminishes into nothingness. Well, death is the ruler of the vision on the earth in the heart at this moment and look at the fine job it's doing just terrific it couldn't get more perfect right well those who believe in cancer definitely believe that you believe in all of its hierarchies and disease pleasures and the entire circus charade that exists before everyone's eyes that everyone is experiencing right now at this moment for a little while longer just a little short time though time is running out very fast very quickly so if you really believe in cancer in death well you're going to choose that crown as has been said many times and you're going to see exactly what it has to offer, well, the same thing that cancer has to offer, which is not a damn thing. But if you're willing to be fooled by cancer and its minions, well, I mean, I don't know what to say. That's just going to be unfortunate for you. And not just a little unfortunate, but extremely unfortunate. More than can be stated. So the many, pretty much everyone, it might as well be said, is caught up in their dream state. They are asleep. They're absolutely caught in this dreamlike state, moving forward, just as death is moving forward, which is time. And the heart is timeless, which is life. Its foundation is forever, is unshakable. That's why this opportunity is tremendous, tremendous beyond recognition. But what is currently keeping 
people still in that state of sleep, still moving forward with the inertia of time. Well, this is the basis of today's message. There are a lot of factors that are insulating one from truly waking up, from opening their real eyes. Many factors. And these insulating factors prevent one from wanting to see the truth because the truth is not a good thing in this system. Yeah, it's a terrible truth. It's a heavy truth. Very weighty. So instead, one wants to continue burying themselves in their blankets, insulating themselves from the truth, this terrible truth. Because no one promised that the truth was going to be easy or something nice. Well, there are those who try to sell that. They have lots of books to sell, subscriptions, newsletters, all kinds of garbage. Yeah, they can sell you all of these factors of insulation, these lies. A comforting lie is far more preferable than a discomforting truth, it could be said. That's a straight up fact. Most people will choose the comfortable lie just because it's comfortable. So what are some of these factors of insulation? Well, denial. Denial is absolutely one of the factors. You can just straight up deny that anything is going to happen ever in regards to what has been presented. Money is another factor of insulation. One can feel secure in the amount of money that they have in their bank account thinking that insulates them from everything just absolutely everything just even in general they feel superior or invincible in many ways that's the truth. That's why a lot of people seek money. It's a type of security. It's a type of insulation. It's a big one. It's a big factor of consideration. One might feel secure because of how much information they have access to. Just the types of information that one believes in. The internet as a tool, all of these things, these act as buffers of security. If you don't like a certain message, go find another one. There's all kinds of information out there. You can find any type of theory to suit you, to suit your ideals, to make you feel comfortable about what you think the future is going to hold. It's absolutely a type of insulation. If you don't like this message, just go on the Reddit forum, as an example. Go find another message. Go find one that suits you, that makes you feel better inside. Tons of insulating factors in regards to just information for all the truth seekers out there, or supposed truth seekers. Just find something that makes you feel warm and cozy or secures your future in some form or the other. That's a good idea. These are important factors of insulation to buffer one against the truth, a terrible truth, of what's to soon come. You can just insult the speaker as well. That's another type of insulation, insults against the message that's being delivered. It buffers one as well in many ways. So when social media, well this is kind of tied into the same thing, especially those who have large subscriber counts, they feel that this is a, a type of insulation subconsciously. Absolutely. 
it's easy to feel more powerful when you have all these people following what you're saying. Well, I must be right. Look at all the people listening to me. Look at all these likes, all these thumbs up, all my new subscribers. I've almost hit this certain number. It's got to mean something. The universe is providing all these subscribers and all this money from the monetization and just money in general from sales of whatever garbage I'm selling. Absolutely, and that ties into obviously the money as an insulating factor. Another one that should be quite obvious is just the repetition of patterns. Just the patterns in one's daily life or the pattern of the direction of society itself. It's been going in a certain pattern for so many years and it seems because of that pattern that it's just going to continue that way indefinitely. Just again moving forward in the inertia of its lifeless timed aspect day after day just the rat race of the thing even well look how long look how many generations it's been going for and then it can be justified as well that it'll continue indefinitely with just the adjustments that perhaps technology brings that'll be the factor that makes it move in a different direction see it's just different technologies that'll do it yeah sure so again that's another factor of insulation that one can buffer themselves from the truth on so many so many to list that create these securities regurgitation of whatever theory or theories is really what one is seeking in this regard that repetition becomes part of the patterns as well a pattern of info so because something is repeated long enough loud enough then that makes it the truth well that's very much the same propaganda that was utilized in Nazi Germany. Repeat a lie long enough and loud enough and it becomes the truth. And of course the minions will point the finger back in this direction. Isn't that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So that's the problem with being in a dichotomy. Is that when the actual truth is presented, it has to do the same thing, unfortunately. Certain things have to be repeated. The truth is timeless, though. It is the heart. The heart isn't going away, and it's the earth that provides everything. See how it's timeless? Even the lies, the liars can't deny that. Even the ones who deny what's to come say, The earth has been around forever. We're too small to know the great cycles of what's to come. So no one denies that the earth is the immovable truth. Not even the liars, not even the system of cancer can deny that. I mean, that's just going to be too big of a lie what they're gonna say that there's no earth at all there's nothing just nothing well that gets into the concept that the earth is just an illusion so they do go there obviously it's just an illusion oh okay so what is the illusion then just nothingness you're, what, you're not even uh, consuming thin air? Not even that, because that indicates something. It indicates air. So if it's an illusion, what 
constitutes the illusion? What comprises it? What makes solidity a thing in an illusion? How are you able to feel anything? If you walk into a wall, I mean, you didn't walk through the wall. So one keeps saying, it's all an illusion. Well, you hit that brick wall, you, you walked right into it. If it was an illusion, you should have just walked straight through it. But there's some solidity there, a lot of it. So what exactly is the illusion? Of course, to call everything an illusion is another factor of insulation. Then one doesn't have to dwell upon the consequences of one's actions or the collective action of all of humanity. That's why those who love to justify continuing to eat murder meat, you have to justify slaughterhouses. You have to. Instead of changing your diet to something that doesn't involve killing a life form with a nervous system that bleeds, well, you just want to justify that, what, everything goes through the same pain? Well, no, a carrot doesn't have blood, it doesn't have a nervous system. And go on into any example with just fruits and vegetables, obviously, or anything outside of a diet that involves a slaughterhouse. And if one cares enough to observe or find some videos of what these animals go through as, the, as they're being pushed through that horrendous system. Well, if you can still eat meat after seeing that, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I mean, you better really check to see if there's a heart inside of you. I'm not even joking. If you can watch that, watch those animals, see the horror in their eyes as they are being pushed forward to their end. And then you can still say, you know what? Damn it, I really feel like a burger now. That video, watching those animals be put through that horror, made me hungry. I'm going to go cook myself a burger. And I can't wait to taste that delicious murder meat on my tongue. Yum! I wonder if there's any more videos out there so I can watch them before supper every day. It's ridiculous. If you're justifying it, you better check yourself. See if there is a heart, spirit. It is not the same as a carrot or a can of beans. Not in the slightest, not even close. It's part of the vision test, by the way. That's another thing I'm going to get into. Yeah, there is a vision test. Everyone, everyone's part of the vision test. Everyone's had their vision tested over and over and over again. Constantly, it's still being done right, right now. As was already said, it's now a will to deny, a refusal to see, a refusal completely. That's why I'm talking about the tells, what's being slapped in everyone's face. My goodness. But there's too many factors of insulation, too many insulating factors helping to create that deniability. To deny the actual legitimate truth, the unshakable foundation, that which is timeless. 
does one recognize the amount of insulating factors in one's own existence, one's own life? That's the question today.